primary cellular dyskinesia is considered to be a, rare, uh, a relatively rare lung disease occurring in roughly about 1 in 15,000 individuals. It's, a, it's an unusual disease that is uh, uh, clinically manifested by chronic ear infections, uh, sometimes with hearing loss, uh, persistent sinusitis, uh, uh, chronic bronchitis that ultimately results in the destruction of the airways leading to bronchiectasis. 50% uh, of the patients have, uh, a, have what's called situs inversus totalis, where all the organs are kind of flipped in the opposite orientation. So your heart's on the right instead of on the left, your liver is on the left instead of on the right. And there's even a smaller number who have heterotaxy where well, the organs are just kind of jumbled a bit. Um, uh, most men with primary cellular dyskinesia are infertile, and there's a, a you know, there's other manifestations that are, are certainly less common in, in children. We are uh, participating in an NIH-sponsored multi-center uh, consortium looking at primary cellular dyskinesia. In the context of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of this work, it kind of occurred to us that there may be other patients that have um, uh, uh, primary cellular dyskinesia or have ciliopathies, but may not be quite as severe. Uh, in, uh, particularly uh, individuals who have chronic otitis media. Um, otitis media is a, is a very common uh, problem in children. It is uh, a, a source of an awful lot of, uh, of, um, of morbidity in, um, in, uh, in younger children. It accounts for an awful lot of uh, 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 physician visits and many parents sleepless nights. Um, and we, and it's fairly clear if you work with kids long enough that you recognize that there are some children who have otitis media more often than others, or their otitis media doesn't seem to clear terribly well, which is a feature of primary cellular dyskinesia. So, uh, through the support of the of the Children's Discovery Institute, we've been able to put together a. Uh, a group of investigators here at Washington University, both here on the medical campus but also on the Danforth campus, who are very much uh, involved in trying to better understand or maybe characterize the cilia function and the cilia genetics in these children.